good evening students i am yasubrata ma'am uh, hope everyone is fine as i am fine here okay today we will discuss a new lesson uh, from our science book okay everybody take out your science book uh, in our uh, last class that is we discussed the chapter 7 that is how plants how plants make food and this lesson already completed and I sent the question answer of this lesson in your WhatsApp group. I hope you wrote these question answers in your science copy. Today we will not discuss the chapter 8 and 9. Okay, the chapter 8, adaptation in animals and the chapter 9, reproduction in animals. This two lesson will come in your third term exam. So, <clears throat> before third term exam, we will discuss this two lesson. And today we are going to start the chapter 10, safety and first aid. It's given in page number 79. All of you open your book. Yeah, I hope you open it. It's uh, chapter 10, safety and first aid, page number 79. Okay, uh, in this lesson, We'll learn some rules, okay, some safety rules, which made for us only, okay. Uh, that uh, some rules, which we have to follow at home. Uh, the safety rules, which we have to follow when we walk on the road. Uh, about that only it's telling here. And, uh, but before discussing these rules, uh, I want to know that uh, why we have to follow that safety rules. You know this answer is not it. We have to follow the safety rules which made for us. Okay. Which made for us. We have to follow it to live a long life. To live a accident free life. To live a happy life. Okay. So these rules are made for us. So we should follow these rules. Okay. And in books it is given. All of you look at your book. I am going to read the first paragraph. And you try to read with me. Okay. Now look page number 79. This first paragraph. Our carelessness can cause accidents. Resulting in injury or even death. Safety rules have been made to help us avoid accidents. Okay. Uh, why this accidents happens? This accidents happens due to our carelessness. When we become careless, accidents happen. It's not it. Due to accidents, uh, we get injured, we get hurt, or sometimes even death also. It's not it. So we have to follow all the safety rules. And some of us, we are thinking that we are at home. That is, we are completely safe. It's not it. No rules to follow at home. Like that we are thinking something sometimes but it's completely wrong okay we have to follow some safety rules at home also because at home also there is so many tools at our home some tools are very useful and every day we use the tools and these are very useful but if we do not use them very carefully then what happens it becomes very dangerous for us okay in our book first of all it is given that safety at home. Okay, how we have to stay safe at home. See, at our home, there is electricity. Everybody's house, there is electricity. It's not it. And at fire, we use a kitchen. And knives, which are very sharp tool, we use at kitchen. Not only at kitchen, uh, but especially we use it in kitchen to cut a vegetable before cooking. Uh, these are very dangerous very useful but very dangerous if we not use our knives properly then or if we use this knives very carelessly then it can cut in our hand then we'll get hurt it's not it in case of fire when we are cooking something there is fire uh, you are going near the stove uh, when you cook then suppose you are wearing a nylon cloth which catch the 
fire very easily is not it if we go then we, it will catch the fire then what will happen it will burn then you will get hurt uh, you will get injured sometimes that also is not it uh, in case of electricity what happen uh, that electric switch socket some electric gadgets if you not use properly and if you behave with that like a plain things then it is very dangerous for us okay never play with electricity not only in kitchen in other room also in our house in everywhere there is electricity electric uh, there is a connection is not it if we use that wire to play with that switch in a board if we are using to uh, if we are playing with that switch then it's very dangerous for us okay uh, that is only given in our book so all of you look at your book safety at home i'm going to read and you read with me accident and hope accident at home are mainly caused by fire electricity and by sharp things such as knives and scissors already i told about it okay now turn the page in the kitchen kitchen is the place where use where useful but dangerous things such as fire electricity and knives are used you have to very careful while working in the kitchen remember remember that nylon cloth catch fire very easily never wear them in the kitchen wear only cotton or woolen cloth woolen cloths keep away from the stove when food is being cooked do not play with matchbox fire food being cooked or steam escaping from it can cause serious burns never play with electric switch sockets or electric gadgets in the kitchen or elsewhere in the house do not touch them with wet hand or while standing in a wet floor okay electric shocks can even cause that learn to use knives or scissors carefully being careless with them can cause cuts okay then what we learn from here then in the kitchen we do not have to go by wearing that nylon cloth because it gets the fire we have to wear only cotton or woolen cloth when we go kitchen while food being cooked okay otherwise catch uh, fire will catch and it will burn and in case of electricity with the electrical things we never we do not have to play and that uh, electricity when our hands are wet we do not have to switch on or off or when the floor is wet then also we do not have to switch on or switch off that electric board, electrical switch and the electric gadget because uh, there is um, electrical shock we can get then it is very dangerous it can due to this electric shock it may be death also okay then we did match box some people some children some children small small children they are using this uh, match box for playing but we do not have to play with that match box okay it is very dangerous for us uh, then about this knife and scissors already we know these are very sharp if we uh, become so very careless when we use this knife and scissors it can cut us yes or no so when we use these things we should be very careful after that you see avoid falls okay do not run up and down or play on staircases you may break uh, you may break your bones if you fall keep the floor of your house clean and dry a wet floor can be slippery and can cause bed falls if you leave your toys or other things lying on the floor and someone can trip over them and fall okay this can be 
specially dangerous for old pupils like your grandparents. Okay, in case of stay case, what happened? Even we see in school also that when students are going up and down, uh, we have to go slowly by walking. But uh, sometimes we see that they are running. Okay, at home also when you are um, going up and down, then you never run on the staircase okay if you fall down you know that how you will get hurt and it is very dangerous because the bones of your leg and hands it can be break then what will happen everybody will is not it so you may fall down then you will get hurt and then you know when that your house its floor is wet don't run there if you sleep and fall down then also you will get hurt Okay, and these toys and others playing things, then what happened? These others playing things, if you're laying on the floor, then the old person, if they will be sleep on that, they will fall down and bones will be break, then it is very dangerous for them. Okay, so we should be very careful at home when we go to the kitchen or we have to avoid falls and we have to um we have to use that tools knives and scissors but we should be careful on that time and when we use that electricity we have to use that electricity because it's very useful for us but we have to very careful when we use okay students for today business only uh tomorrow we will discuss the next page okay page number eight 81 that is avoid getting poisons and then stay uh, on the road how we have to follow the safety rules okay for today this only thank you students